Hey guys, I didn't realize at the start of the recording of this video that my microphone was not working. So I have this small voiceover instead for a bit into the video. So in this video we'll be looking at things in Decacraft that you can put together by using this simple holding shift and then right clicking uh, the block underneath an item. And you can put some really cool things together. Just to be clear, this took like a few failed attempts to actually say this without going, ah, damn it. So yeah, hey, <laughs> I'm not putting the failed recordings in because I've deleted them all. Anyway, bye. Okay, you should be able to hear me better now. So, what I wanted to do was first have to go to the DecoCraft Discord server because there have been some people, including myself, who have made a few things. So there's, if I go to here, grab out the shower and floor bathtub. So let's place the shower back here. Let's grab the floor bath. Wait, no. Does that need to be placed first? Place down the floor bath tub, and then see if we can get the shower in the same block. I don't know how well this is gonna be. <laughs> okay, it's got. I've got to try and get it like underneath this, underneath the block here. So the. One downside to this is some blocks are hard to place stuff inside of, like as you can see the bathtub. Oh god, I think that it did something. Yeah, I did. Uh, metal click's broken. The hell? There we go. Okay, so if I place the shower. Hold shift inside said shower. Nope, it still won't work. Never mind then. So, I, I, I have no idea how this person managed to do it, but they did. So, um, I, what you can do is if you grab a mic stand, go to office, grab out, like any, any colored desk chair and all the various things you'll need like maybe a laptop and then place down the desk and then if you hold shift you can place the microphone inside the desk you can't do it for the other side for some reason it, it just oh no you can but you can't do it for the back of the other side I'm pretty sure yeah because it just keeps trying to reroute oh no oh yeah it just, just deletes the desk You know, for some reason, it, it just causes the desk to disappear and no longer exist. Like that. So if I place this down, go back to here and place that inside the desk, you've got a quick and easy desk microphone. I don't know if this... So if this block had an inventory though, you would only be able to open it through right clicking on here and not on this side because immediately after placing the microphone your the hitbox stays on the microphone and it doesn't like being on this side of the desk I can't understand why it might be because it's two different blocks occupying the same uh, space but either way um, I really should have experimented before recording. Anyway, I'm going to quickly make the next thing. Well, I'm going to quickly figure out what to do next, and then I'm going to make it for you. Okay, be right back. So, for this here, as you can see, I managed to get the 
PC underneath the desk. Normally in DecaCraft that's impossible, so if I right click here and then try and put this underneath the desk, it doesn't want to place. But if we do the same thing we did for this one to get the microphone on inside the desk, we can just as easily get it in. This also helps because this desk here, like none of the desks allow placing on this side for some unknown reason. I can't understand why. It's probably just counted as one block. So it only takes this side instead of this side. So if I place that down, you can't place it on this side because it tries to reroute to this side. But with either placing, but without having to place blocks behind it, you can place this underneath and you can place a monitor, the second monitor on top. So then you can look like you've got a really super cool gaming setup and still be able to have space for everything else. So you you can't you don't have to do what I used to have to do, which was either place a desk next to another one or use crayfish's furniture mod. Which it's like if I want to have a glass desk, I don't want to have to use a different furniture, a different mod, especially when I want to keep my mod amount low. Okay. So this handy little trick isn't just good for putting items underneath other ones. It's also good for placing items next to each other when they don't work that way. So normally, wait, right, what? What? Okay. So normally you can't place one of these right next to each other. In reality that wouldn't work either because you can't get into the center of these. But if you do the same trick from before, you can place things right next to each other. It doesn't work all the time because sometimes it just goes inside of each other. And these can be placed next to here just fine. But sometimes you just want to have these massive clothes racks right next to each other and you can just do that especially if your store that you're making is compact and tiny you can just make these right next to each other I think there's also another clothes rack yeah we've got number two and number one and I assume that you can't... Oh wow, that's... that's annoying. That's annoying, that's... that's really annoying. What is this? Why is that like that? Why does that exist like that? What the hell? Why can't these be placed right next to each other? Yeah, so that that's an annoying little thing in DecaCraft. It does have some annoying parts to, th there are some annoying parts to the mod, like that, where if you break something it becomes invisible for some reason, especially if it's pushed together really closely. It doesn't seem to happen for these and it doesn't seem to happen for any of these, but for some reason, if you put them together, but, what? For some reason, if you do this, and why is it not doing it now? Never mind. So there are a few blocks and stuff that really cannot be placed right next to each other because of that annoying thing where it just removes it. Or it, well, where it removes it and makes it invisible. So, yeah. You, I don't know if it works with vanilla blocks. Well, it probably doesn't work with vanilla blocks, but if I place a few wood planks, and then I... Ah, oh, damn, I am 
my middle clip is broken. I'm gonna grab one of these. I don't know, does it... Oh, no, it does not allow placement inside the um, wall. Which is kind of annoying because we can place it inside other pieces of furniture when that would not work at all. Because, like, the space requirement and stuff for a lot of these items just don't work like that. So, something like that, you, you, you can't put things together if they're using vanilla blocks. So, and then you've got something like a vanity, a large vanity. You can customize some blocks with this. So, if you like, let's say, want to have something like that there, you want to put a perfume as well. You can just hold, hold light. Oh, I hate it when this happens. You can just hold shift. Oh, it disappeared. Never mind. It does. It doesn't always work. It's very hard to get working all the time because sometimes it just overwrites the item next to it and just removes it. Especially if there isn't enough room. I, I mean, I don't, I don't really know why it doesn't work like that. It, it just sometimes removes the pieces next to it. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. I feel like it's more just how the mod is coded and stuff like that. Or it may just be because of Minecraft limitations, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I know either. But you can also, I think, uh, what do I want to see? I'm actually going to do this one live on camera because it, some of these things don't work and some things you wouldn't expect to work and some things you just don't want to try or like just realize that you want to try. So I don't know if this works properly. But, uh, never mind. So, something like, oh, what am I doing now? <laughs> so, if I put down some doors, and then I go to architecture, I look at the door barricades. So, they don't like being placed next to each other normally. If you place one, you cannot place another one. But using that, you can place both down. It does remove both. I hate this mode of click right now. It does remove both at the same time. But, I don't know why that can't be placed now. Oh, this thing again. So, the fact that you can't place both next to each other makes a bit of sense because it just glitches out like that. But, uh, I feel like Raz and everybody else could try and see if it's possible to make it so that if one of these is placed next to each other, it combines the two or make a double door barricade. Because some people like having double doors and they like to barricade their double doors. Especially in a post-apocalyptic, um, city map. Well, you're going to want to have the ability to hide a whole room, especially if it's not allowed to be accessed by a person. It's kind of weird that you can open this. You can't walk through it, but you can open it. I don't know why it's making me jump. Oh, I'm to jump on, that's why. Uh, so, some of these things, like that, that that's just more nitpicky, though. That... That and I think they should try and see what's actually happening when it decides it wants to 
um, when it decides that the block should be removed and it keeps the block there. So if you want to hide these, you got to place two and oh, oh god, oh goodness, I am. <laughs> I didn't realize it would break the doorknob texture. I, I didn't even realize the, the doorknob was like that. But anyway, <laughs> so there are a few things may have been fixed in the recent update or in one of the updates that look like they should go next to each other. So like these, these do look like they should go next to each other, but they don't. So you have to hold shift and place them next to each other. Especially if this is being used at like, because this looks like something I've seen before where it's stop ships from, damn my computer sounds like it's gonna take off. Where it stops ships from crashing in, going straight into the um, harbor, but into the, so like the little bit of land just above the harbour and you could use something like this even though it's called wooden spikes and it looks like it would break the boat it does also look like something that would protect the boat and that's that's irritating that's really irritating why does it go like that I mean a lot of these other things should have corner pieces too this is a great mod though, I love it. <laughs> but still, this is annoying. That's really annoying actually. And so I believe that how long have I been recording for? Not too long. So some things should be able to I'm more just rambling and experimenting right now. I love this mod. <laughs> so something like this, you can't place that there, but you can just hold shift and you can place it. If it's for something like a museum. Oh, that happened. I can't understand why that happened. But it did. I don't know if there are any invisible blocks there, but that was kind of annoying. I don't know what a. Br oh, that's a thing that goes around a campfire. But you could also use that for a. Um, where is it? What tab is it in? For a ah oh, crap! I can't, I can't find it. It might be in kitchen, maybe. What I'm looking for is in one of these tabs. It's in one of them, and I can't find it because I. Okay, I guess I was, I'm not looking then. So you can put a kettle on top. Oh, you can do that normally. <laughs> Even though it doesn't work. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something. Where is it? Crap. Uh, so if you want to place, I don't know, a barrel inside of here, it doesn't... Oh, there we go. Oh. Uh, there we go. So you could make it disappear. That's what you could do. I think it should be possible to combine more things together. And some things that look like they should go next to each other but don't should be fixed. See, this here looks like it could go up on top, but it doesn't. Because, for some reason, the model counts as, oh my god, counts as 
a single thing. So you can't. So you have to have a wall behind it to be able to place it. And some things are just annoying when click it when placing them. I this sort of video this this is gonna have a lot of experimentation. I can already see it. If I ever do something like this again, I'm probably just gonna record a bit of it and then to like I don't know, stop recording and start recording and stop recording and just so I'm not using up all the time looking through Minecraft menus. Uh, so there's not really much I can show off here because I'm terrible at this sort of thing. So this, is this able to be placed here? No, so that's another thing. You can, that's the centre, that's the right. So if you want to put a... Oh God, Oh, that's irritating. That's annoying. That should be possible. But it's not. So you can't... place a picnic table... <laughs> with a... umbrella inside of it. Even though they're a real thing, and I've seen a few of them around, you can't do it. It might be because of how the mod uh, renders models, possibly. Probably something with PTLib, or it could just be Minecraft itself. It, it, it basically could be anything, to be honest. Mm, can I place this here without it breaking? No, I cannot. Okay, that's unfortunate. Just making sure there are no invisible blocks. So wooden table three. I have no idea if a lot, of, if any of this has been changed since I last played with the mod. I have done a bit of experimentation with this mod, but not too much recently. So this table, for some reason, doesn't allow chairs to actually be placed around it. So you can just hold shift. To place them around it. There you go. So now you've got a table with two, four, six, I think that's eight chairs around it. Yeah, a small circular table with eight chairs. Now you can sit down and enjoy your feast. Um. So I think uh, just trying to experiment a little bit more. Does the mantle work with the fireplace? No, it does not. But now it does. <laughs> I I can't see why this. What? I can't see why it doesn't look like it's gonna work. But then when you do it, and then destroy it, it does work. That's like an annoying... I think, I, th I feel like that would be a bug. <laughs> if anything. Having the game not recognize that it works, and then shift right click, and then it just... For some reason works. <laughs> That's probably a bug. Ugh. Probably a bug. Probably. But it might not be, for all I know. For all I know, it's intentional. So, probably not intentional. Uh, wonder, can this, does this one work with that? Yes, it does, for some reason. <laughs> I, I really wish I could actually place this with the thing in the center.
I mean, it could do something like in um, in uh, the game House Flipper, where you hold, I don't know, let's say Control, and it just uh, moves. Like it's easier to move instead of having the it's snapping to place like that. It's able to move easier. So instead of it having to be block based, it's uh, cursor based. And it shouldn't matter where the block is. Sort of like how it's rotate, how when it rotates, it has more degrees than a normal Minecraft block. Now, I want to put this underneath here, even though it's not needed. But if your dog wants to have a drink, and let's say it's a very hot day, you don't want your dog to get heat stroke or anything like that. So you put the bowl underneath an umbrella. I also don't understand why you can't stand on top of the umbrella. But again, I'm just nitpicking here. <laughs> but now I can put a gnome in front of the doghouse, a gnome next to the doghouse, a gnome in inside the doll. Oh God, uh, I don't think the name wants to be there. Mr. Gnome, what's it like being inside the doghouse? <laughs> He's poking in to say hello. Oh, but I hate how the textures just break whenever you do that. <laughs> I don't even think this n the, the gnome normally. Middle click is so broken on my mouse. I don't even know if the gnome can naturally. Oh, no, I can. But now. Never mind. That didn't work as planned. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure even something like this bridge could be made to go inside the blocks a bit more. So I don't know why it isn't made to work like that. It's a little strange that it automatically tries to go inside, like right where the block is. I also can't see why it isn't joining up with that. It should be able to, but it doesn't, so. But again, I'm just nitpicking here. I, I do this quite a bit, actually. Yes, yeah, so, and also what's weird is that these here don't join up there. These two do. I mean, they don't actually join up properly, but is there another one of those? Ah, that's why I'm using the right one for the left side. It still does not join up properly. The right one does not join up with said bridge. Because mm, it just that's that's irritating. That that's that's just hurting my brain that that happens. <laughs> that that really hurts my brain. Wow. <laughs> So the rope, rope can now be placed, never mind, it can't be placed there, but it can be placed inside the, no it cannot, never mind, the, the ropes, the ropes gonna just annoy me. now put a rope inside your fire. I can't understand why you would do that. 
it seems like something that would be a bit of a fire hazard. But you do you. <laughs> I just made the chair die. <laughs> so a lot of things that shouldn't be placeable become placeable with the shift. Which, it's a nice feature, but it can cause a few problems sometimes. Not all the time, but it can sometimes cause a few problems like that. It can just remove blocks. I feel like that could be changed so that if there's one inside of another, a block inside of another block from Decacraft, it doesn't immediately remove the block. It just places inside of it when holding right a uh, shift at the same time. Just so you can do finer um, decorating. So you don't have something like this occurring, but you can put a gnome inside of your doghouse. Still don't know why you would do that. <laughs> and you can make the rope bridge have rope underneath it. I don't even know where that one just placed. Oh, it's like right underneath. So anyway, I don't know how many I've done and I don't know how good that video is. this video has been, but these are things you can do while holding shift and placing deco craft items inside other items. I may have uncovered, I may have possibly uncovered some bugs, but for all I know it's intended. <laughs> So, if you enjoyed, I'm not going to force you, but if you enjoyed, make sure to think of whether you want to like and subscribe. That, that's totally up to you. If you like cringy content, subscribe. <laughs> I'm not going to force you, but I would appreciate it. Okay. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.